out. Welcome to my craft room. This is a new design for me. It's called a shadow box. This is a new design for me. It's called a shadow box card. And um, I really like them. I think they're really cool. And just wait, I'm gonna make some really cool Christmas ones. So first, the cover. Just a normal cover, you are my. And then when you open it up, you get this really cool shadow box inside. Here's where you sign. We just use the cutout here, over here, so no waste. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's 3D. There's actually four different layers on this card. And it's really easy. I know it looks complicated, but it's not. It's really, really easy. So first, I need you to click on the Cricut link in my description and it will put the base of this card onto your Cricut mat and we'll go from there. So let's go make it. Here we are on the canvas. If you went down in my description and clicked on the link, you have this on your canvas. If you didn't, pause right here, go down in the description, click on the Cricut link, and Cricut will put this card base right onto your canvas. So first, here's your envelope. We'll talk about more about this when we're uh, on the craft table, but I'm gonna move it out of our way. We are not going to need one of these squares, so I'm gonna take that out of the way. Okay, this I went ahead and cut for you. We've got all of that stuff ready to go. Now, time to get our images. Okay, you're gonna go down here, click images. If you have never done um, images by their code number, let me show you how to do that. You, every image starts with hashtag capital M. Okay, and our sailboat is 3E74CFD4. As you can see, I have made you a whole list of our different um, images. So you need to put all of these on the canvas. So first you're gonna click on that and you see it puts down here, down in add, then you look up the next number. And once you have them all in there, you'll hit add and it'll put them all on your canvas. So now I'm gonna fast forward through. I want you to, to look up all of these images and get them all put on your canvas and I'll meet you over there. Okay, before we start on our images, let's do these real quick. Number one, this one's gonna be white, the bright white. Then we need another one to go in front of it. So we are gonna go into shapes and hit square. We need that to be four by six. So you're gonna unlock this middle button. You're gonna put four here, six here. And it's going to be the light, light blue. Mm, let's see, let's do this one right here for now. Okay, same thing as the other one. And it's gonna go right here. This one is going to be the light aqua color. So here's a, here is the dark aqua, and so there is the light aqua. We'll leave it that for right now, and that way we can kind of keep everything separate. Okay, let's do sizes. Your sailboat is going to be 2.7 wide. Oh, wait. First, you got to lock that lock button. Okay, 2.7 wide. There we go. That goes here. We'll change the colors here in a minute. This, the water, is four inches wide. There we go. And that goes right here. 
Then our clouds are 1.15 wide. And that goes up here. And then we are going to duplicate it right there. And that goes over here. We're going to change all the colors, like I said, in a minute. There's that, except for your banner with your writing, which we're going to do at the very end, okay? So now your sand needs to be the same width as this, which is four inches. So let's go back into edit, make sure your button is locked. Then your turtle. He is 2.25 wide. And he goes right here. Your school of fish. You're going to need two of these, but first let's change them out. They're going to be two inches wide. And since they just have one color, let's go ahead and change that. We're going to change it to super light yellow. Then we're going to go into actions and duplicate. This one is going to be over where you're going to sign it. We are going to need two things of seaweed, but they're both going to be the same size. So first, let's change their size. It's going to be one inch wide. Then we're going to go to actions and duplicate. This is the right color. It's going to go opposite. This needs to be the lighter green. This, both layers of this are going to be red. But since it's got layers, we're going to have to go into layers and change that. So one at a time, both of these are going to be dark red. Now, the reason I, you can do these a darker and a lighter if that's what you want to do, of course. I didn't really want the extra color I wanted the texture. So I went ahead and did both and it is 1.25 wide. 1.25 and there's two of them. So we're gonna duplicate. One goes here, one goes with these guys over here on our signing thing. And this is what's going to be our signing. And you know what I did? I forgot to duplicate our sand. We're gonna let, let's do that really quick. We are going to click on the sand and we are going to duplicate. And then we're gonna go into edit and it is going to be two inches wide. And that little one is gonna go over here. And you know what I just realized? I did not change the colors on the actual card. So let's do that very quickly so you kind of see what's going on. This is going to be the dark red. So we've got to go in over here to layers. And we're going to use the dark red. Okay. And this one is going to be the light blue. So we are going to pick this one. And then this light blue, there we go. And once you cut this out, this is also going to be the light blue. Which I'm gonna pick this one. We're gonna double check all these colors here in a minute. So there's that, this is completely done. Now, remember when I told you that one side of your card is going to be shorter? Well, that's the shadow box side. So this one is going to be where you sign, and it's going to go right there. We haven't changed the size on our anchor. It is two inches wide. I knew it was way too small. There we go. Okay, let's get all of our colors changed. Now, let's do the sailboat first. Let's go find him. There he is. I want his sail to be bright white, just like that. This black one changes it changes to the lighter aqua. These both are going to be the bright white. Again, just wanting texture. Let's find our other one. There we go. You can click both. Edit. Bright white. Good job. Our boat. You know what? I forgot our basics. I did this in the dark brown. And there you go. Your cover's all finished. Let's go ahead and do your anchor. It is part of it's going to be red, the background, but the front part is going to be that same dark brown. So let's go, let's find it on here. 
this part is going to stay red, which it's not, it's pink. So we want it in the dark red. And this part is going to be in the dark brown that we just did the boat. There we go, just like that. Let's do all of these guys. Our little fish are done, our seaweed is done, our coral is done. Our, there we go. Uh, this needs to be the dark brown. This is the cutouts for the sand. I'll show you what changes. There you go, just like that. And then the only other thing we need to do is our turtle. Let's go back to edit. I did him in this really light green. And then I did his body in kind of this medium green. Just like that. There we go. So now we need, there's two things we need to do for the inside and the cover. We need to get our writings going on. So let me get those out of the way. Get to zoom in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in here to shapes. You're going to scroll down and hit this guy right here. First, let's change his color. They're both going to be white. Then we are going to duplicate because we need one for each side. Your anchor one is the right size, 2.5 inches wide. Now, the one for the front, the width is 3.2. There's our banners. Now let's get our words. We're going to hit a text box. And first, let's go ahead and do the anchor just because that's going to be easier. Down, then we're going to click our text and we are doing the Annie Lou text, A-N-N-I-E. There's our anchor. Now, let's make one more. And it says, you, capital R, capital M, just like that. We need to change that to the Annie Lou. I made these red because I wanted to have them kind of all go together. I need a little bit more red to tie in the flag of the um, sailing ship, the coral, the little bit of um, extra I have on the anchor. So now all we need to do is match them on our banner now i'm going to bring this up now you don't you're not tucking this in this is going to go exactly in the middle here you're going to do it 2.5 wide okay so there you go there is that one it goes right up here next to that and then the anchor i like that that's 1.5 wide excuse me i'm sorry so let's do one point up oh. I just hit the wrong button, sorry, 1.5. Okay, so we're gonna put this up here. It's gonna go right in the middle. So there, we've got all of that done. Let's check our colors. We're gonna hit sync. Now you see where we're at. We need one color of light aqua and dark aqua. Okay, and then these are both the light aqua. So let's put them up here with these. And when you do this, you just hold down the three lines and drag your finger. Okay, we've about got the bright green, the dark brown, blue, the light green. Of course, we want all of these dark reds to be the same. Mm, this one is wrong because the, this contour of the sand should have should be the dark brown that's probably the smaller one that we didn't change so let's put that in the dark brown i'm all about only cutting the least amount of mats so i'm gonna so i combined a lot of these colors so white light yellow light brown dark red light green light blue dark brown dark and light aqua and the bright green so those are all your right colors so we're going to get out of sync and i have a favor to ask i need you to glue this together your um your turtle here the turtle together your coral together your sand together none of these are going to take any time but if we stop 
while we're on the canvas and we have to stop and put all these little tiny pieces together, which you don't need to watch me do that. You already know how to do it. Both your corals, both your sand, your turtle, your anchor, and these two signs. If you will glue, go ahead and glue all of these together, once we get on the canvas, it's gonna be quick and easy. So, I will see you okay, all Okay guys, here we are at the craft table. As you can see, it's well loft. Um, first, I use art glitter glue. It dries clear. I buy this refill and the smaller thing with the um, this little metal tip. A little bit goes a long way. And it's in the description. Then, I want to thank you for putting a bunch of our stuff together. I move everything into um, paper plates so I can kind of keep my work table organized. Okay. Envelopes. This will fit a 5 by 7 envelope. I, um, you saw your envelope on the canvas. This isn't the exact one. I bought a large ream of large copy paper. It's 12 by 18, so I can make these bigger that are uh, lightweight when I need to mail them. Or I got these at Hobby Lobby. I waited till they were half off. There's 50 of them. These are a four or five by seven card, so that will work too. So first, let's do our... Um, Let's do our cover first. We're not gonna glue it on to the, the main card yet because uh, I never do that. Why? Oh, here we go, here we go. You should have a small light colored blue, rect actually you should have two light color small blue rectangles. I'm wrong, you only have one light blue rectangle. And we're going to mat it with the white like that. Move that stuff out of the way. Okay, first, let's get this panel on. Um, the reason that I do not hook this to the front of the card yet, because if we mess up something inside, then you have to remake everything over again. And we don't want to have to do that. So instead, I make the cover art. And then after we're done with everything else, then I put it on last. This way, if you mess up your inside, there we go, just like that, about a quarter inch all the way around. Okay, first we're gonna need to put our sailboat down. I would say about a half an inch from the top. Okay, so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. We're at about a half an inch from the top. Now, on this one, you're going to have to glue all these little bitty parts, too. Since it's the cover, you want to make sure that none of it's going to get caught coming in and out of the envelope, popping up on the corners, or anything like that. Okay, we said half an inch. I'm going to have to turn it this way because I can't see very well. Okay, let me make sure I got this straight here real quick. There we go. Look at that. Then our waves are going to go on top. All I did was I got as close to where none of the light blue would show underneath. But I tried to keep as much of the bottom of the sailboat just so it doesn't look like it's, you don't want it to look like it's sailing on top of the water. This is going to line up on either side exactly. I'll push mine over just a little bit. Uh-oh. I didn't get this part of the boat, see? I'm going to push this up just a little tiny bit. There we go. Then we're going to put this one on top. And this lines up right at the bottom. Okay. Can you see well? I might not have turned my lights right. Okay, no, that, that seems to be a little better. Uh, put this right here. We're going to line it right up there on the bottom. Look at that. Look how easy this is. And then I am going to cut it even on both sides. So it doesn't really matter what the um, measurement is, just eyeball it and look, make it look like it's going to be equal up and um, on either end. It's a card, you know, you don't have to be exact. So I'm gonna kinda eyeball it, 
put that right in the middle. There we go, just like that. And then all we've got left is our clouds. You did something else up here in the sky. Okay, and here's my other one. This one I'll probably put up a little higher. And look at that, you're already done with the cover. Quick and easy, see? Now we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. Let's get our main card built. We are not gonna do this yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it bent. Uh, on the score line so I can kind of show you what we're doing. And I'm gonna go back and go ahead and, go ahead and get them all folded up. Cause it's gonna be a lot easier to do that now than it is later. Okay, now I'm gonna straighten all these back out because we're gonna kind of use this as our guide while we're making the background. Okay, we got the cover done. We've got this folded. Let's go ahead and do our, back, our background for the shadow box. This right here is going to fit on your short side of your card. Now I've made it to where if you need to move it around a little bit, you've got some leeway. This is going to cover a bunch of it. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make sure that we put a lot of our stuff right in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna use these, these are pretty thick. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. Um, pop dots are super easy. Now, since our turtle is going to be our star, first I'm gonna put some pop dots on him, just like that, you see that? And then I am going to put, peel off these other pieces. So I have the adhesive, and then let's put him right in the middle, just like that, there. Now, see how he does it the 3D? Okay. First, that's gonna go behind him is, you have two different colors of seaweed. This is the lighter color because it is farther away from us. Okay, there we go, just like that. Okay, so, again, you can always put this on top. I always um, put everything together before I do the on the canvas part through Cricut. And on mine, this was too big. I've already fixed it on yours. We know our seaweed's gonna go here. So first, I'm gonna take the small one. And these are not gonna be pop dotted. These are gonna go straight on the background. We're trying to kind of make this a 3D shadow box, right? Look how good we're doing. Now, we need these little fish. Now, you've got some for the other side, too, where you're gonna be signing. Okay, so let me move this plate out of the way. And I've got all your yellow fish here. So what we want is kind of a school of fish kind of swimming by back here. And you can put as many as you want on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys in their spot and then I can fill in. There we go, just like that. Okay, let's put him there. Okay, let's do one more fish at the top, like that. And then I'm gonna put a couple underneath. We just want, you know, a little school of fish. Not a big deal, not a lot. Now, if you wanna put more than that, go for it. Your bottom of the ocean, whatever you wanna call it, is going to be the right size, and mine is not. So I am going to go ahead and trim it off real quick because it'll be easier for me. Yours is going to be a little bit different than mine because I messed up. This is not gonna be attached to this. It's gonna be attached to this. And, and again, personal choice on where you wanna put yours. Do not glue it to the blue here. I'm only gluing it to the sand. Now, what we are doing is we are gonna glue it to this. We're gonna pop dot it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build it all on the card because that way I'll make sure that we have all of our spacing exactly right. Okay, I want this up just a little bit right there. Okay guys, look, I messed up. I sat right there and told you do not glue this on here and then I glued it on there like a doofus. So normally I would not fix things like this. And since this is a shadow box, it's gonna be way in the back, and this is actually going to be sitting right above it, 
So unless your person looks underneath, they're not gonna see it. To make sure, I went ahead and added this part because I didn't want the red back behind. Okay, so I wanna do it where, see this bottom of this thing right here? It hits this window, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of pot dots. Actually, I'm gonna cut them in half. Then I'm gonna take one and put it on the front of this. Okay, I know this one is gonna tuck back behind. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go right here. And see how that is right at the bottom? This little guy right here. Okay, now, I put him on there. Now, I am not gonna have as much room for the pop-up on, on the other side as you are, because I messed mine up. And look at that. Do you see how that's giving you a 3D thing? Okay, now we're ready to attach. And actually, I'm gonna put mine way over to the left. So now we're gonna glue this to the background. Now I still want a quarter inch top and bottom. Perfect, look at that. Okay, now you're gonna wanna straighten this back out again. And then you're gonna put glue all, and this is the front of it, okay? You're gonna put glue all along this edge. And you wanna make sure you get the whole thing because it needs to hold on to that cover for it to shadow box. Okay, and I'm gonna get probably as close as I can. And we're gonna watch for glue leaks because you don't want it to glue your card together. Okay, so there you go. You've got glue all along that strip. Okay, now you're gonna turn it over. Okay, and you're gonna line it up right next to the fold on this panel, okay? Right next to the fold, almost right on top of it. But you are gonna be so close. It's gonna be even top and bottom. Then, yeah, be careful because your blue is probably not dry. Hey, you see how that did? You're doing great. Okay, now you need this one folded in, you see, like a box, and it is going to glue right here. Okay, so we're going to put glue right here. And again, make sure you get close to the edges, especially this folded edge. Now, I always tell everybody to leave these open for at least overnight or for a few hours to make sure all the dry the glue is dry. Now, we are just going to close this and it's gonna meet up right against the edge of this red. Do you see that? Okay, so now I'm just gonna place it where it goes. This should be straight up and down, this part right here. Just like that, okay? And look at that, you've made your shadow box. Now, I want you to go ahead and close this while it's still wet. It looks like I may have gotten a little too close. So what I'm gonna do, if your fold isn't matching up exactly right, it's not a big deal. It's gonna be just, just barely off. Okay, look at that. Look, you've already got your shadow box done. Okay, let's do this side real quick and then we'll do the anchor and then all we have to do is put the cover on. Um, we're gonna use the part that you cut out. We're gonna use the little fish again. First, let's go ahead and put this in. It needs to be right in the middle. Kind of the same spot that your shadow box is. And you know, you don't have to measure it. You can just kind of eyeball it. We know we want this pretty, we want it to go off the edge just a little tiny bit. So we're gonna put your seaweed pretty close to the bottom, okay? If I can pick it up, I'm having a hard time here. Okay, I'm gonna do the bigger piece first. There we go. And I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle because I'm gonna put one of the smaller pieces next to it. Let's do this one. 
And on these, I do kind of like to go off of the edge. It just seems to just like that. And let's go ahead and put our sand in. There you go, just like that. Look how cute that is. And then we're gonna put him like he's behind the dune right there and the, the, put him right on that brown, right at the top of that brown line right there. Again, it's a card. So it doesn't have to be exact. I have to let go of a bunch of my perfectionism. <laughs> so I get it just like that, okay? This gives you a chance if you wanna put happy birthday, happy anniversary, whatever you've, you'd like. Design principle things, you know, like designers follow. They say everything needs to be in odd numbers. You'll see the fish over on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna put this right on this edge and on this corner so I know exactly what I'm doing. I am only going to put three fish here. Okay, look at that. Look, look, your whole inside of your card is done. Look how cool that is. You've got background, turtle, um, sand, coral, and your frame. You've got one, two, three, four levels. Look at that, all inside of a card, isn't that cool? Let's do our anchor. Now, as you can see, and, and if you like that, where it comes up in front of your um, picture, that's fine. Look, if you tilt it enough, look at that. It all stays over on the side. And this, we may have to trim some of this off. This will tuck right in behind it, okay? I'm just gonna glue this little part of the anchor, this part, and the chain, okay? Because I need to flip my anchor word thing up underneath it, okay? So I'm just gonna do this. There we go. And there you go, look at that. Now we need our word. Now the reason I didn't glue the rest of this off is because depending on where you put your anchor, then you're gonna have to figure out exactly where you want your word, okay? Now see that? Look, I don't want that little white corner, so I am going to cut it off. I don't want it to show, okay? So just like that, see? Look at that, look how easy that was. First, I'm gonna glue this down. I wanna get it right in the middle, kind of in the middle of the light blue. There we go, just like that. And then I'm gonna go up under here and finish gluing my anchor, just like that. Look at that. Now you are done. Now you're, do you're done with your whole inside. Look how cute this is. Look, you're all done with your inside. Now, let's go ahead and fold it. Make sure it's folding good, and it is. Okay. Now, all, you, all we need to do is put it on, put on our cover, and we've already done that. So, quick and easy. I told you it wouldn't be hard. Okay, and again, this is about a quarter inch. If you will get all three of your sides at the bottom pretty even, then it'll be real easy because the rest of it will be even. And there we go. You are my anchor. Look at that. You're done. You did it. I am so proud of you. Mm -hmm.